like to tell you about the natural treatment for PCOS. So, you can treat PCOS naturally and not actually have to be dependent on medications for PCOS. PCOS or polycystic ovary syndrome can be treated. What we need to focus on is a few different things. PCOS is a metabolic syndrome. That means that you have much more in inflammation in the body because you're not just your female hormones are out of balance, but your adrenal hormones are out of balance. Your hypothalamus, which controls your ovaries, your adrenals, and your glucose metabolism is actually responsible for getting this back into balance again. It is really critical that you try to help the hypothalamus do its job better in order for the rest of the body to get back into balance. The very first thing you need to do is reverse your insulin resistance. Now, insulin resistance is a condition where insulin cannot carry the glucose into your cells because your cells are actually resistant or blocking the insulin from getting in. And that happens when you have way too much glucose and, and insulin floating around in the bloodstream. It is a very common issue with polycystic ovary syndrome. It's what causes the inflammation as well as the weight gain around the middle that we see with polycystic ovary syndrome. Whenever you're insulin resistant, you're much less likely to have regular cycles or to be fertile. So it's really critical that you reverse insulin resistance. And you do that through diet and exercise. An insulin resistant diet, which is basically a paleo, kind of a ketogenic diet where you're eating higher protein and fat, vegetables, some fruits, and very, very low starches and carbs will help to reverse the insulin resistance. Also exercise, particularly aerobic exercise on a daily basis will help to reverse your insulin resistance. Number two, because Polycystic ovary syndrome is an issue with the adrenals. You need to reduce your stress response. Your adrenal glands are responsible for producing your stress hormones. Because in polycystic ovary syndrome, you don't produce enough progesterone from your ovaries, your adrenals don't have enough progesterone to produce the stress hormones, and they tend to get fatigued and tired. You're still producing lots of DHEA, which is very androgenic, meaning male-like, which contributes to the high male-like hormones that causes acne and the hairiness or hirsutism that we see in polycystic ovary syndrome. That can be a huge issue if we don't reduce the stress response. Now we can support your adrenals with glandulars and with herbs, but the biggest way to support your adrenals is to start meditating, start breathing exercises. Anything to reduce that stress response will actually help to calm down the adrenals and calm down the inflammation that is caused by polycystic ovary syndrome. Number three, balancing your hypothalamus. Your hypothalamus is the maestro of all of these hormones, your female hormones from your ovaries, your stress hormones from your adrenals, and your glucose metabolism. If it's out of balance, it doesn't matter how much you focus on your ovaries or your adrenals or your glucose metabolism. If your hypothalamus is out of balance, you are not going to reverse polycystic ovary syndrome. And it can be reversed. You do not have to live with this forever. Balancing the hypothalamus is not difficult to do. I developed Genesis Gold to do this particularly. The amino acid blend in Genesis Gold is designed to balance the hypothalamus. The rest of the herbal blend and the super green foods is to support normal insulin sensitivity, normal adrenal stress response, and reproductive hormones. I've had many patients with polycystic ovary syndrome completely reverse the syndrome and even get pregnant using Genesis Gold. Thank you.